Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash, uh, and uh, I want to do a quick fireside chat about uh, a number of issues uh, going on and just kind of the current state of affairs in uh, uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, we have been doing uh, a number of openings and playing of Jumpstart on the channel. Uh, we will be, uh, you'll see kind of a number of them coming up. We're going to do them kind of bit by bit. Uh, we, I was going to do a whole box at a time, but uh, I think how I prefer to do it is we're going to get them. We're going to open, uh, I think the last thing we did was actually 12 because there's three of us and we did four packs each, but um, generally be kind of a portion because we want to get them. We want to play them. We want to enjoy the product the way it's meant to be to be done. Uh, this is not a product that's meant to be opened a box at a time. Uh, not like, you know, this thing uh, where, you know, it's meant to be more open box at a time. Uh, or, you know, you kind of need to, or, you, you know, you need to do maybe 10 for a draft or something like that. But um, these really are meant to be opened, you know, per player, a couple packs at a time. Uh, and, uh, you know, smash them together and play. Uh, it's been really refreshing to play. We've been, uh, uh, I don't uh, necessarily know the long-term investment value on these packs. There's some good cards. The lands, some of the lands are kind of cool. Uh, some of the cards are kind of cool. Um, and if they don't go and reprint them right away... Uh, some of the cards will definitely have value. I mean, Tiny Bones, uh, a couple of the others, uh, really great cards. Uh, Crater, Crater Hoof Behemoth uh, reprint, but uh, pretty awesome. Uh, some of the uh, the Witch, uh, what's her, Witch more Witch. Uh, anyways, uh, really nice cards to to play. Really interesting. Uh, good cards that uh, would be good in other decks. There's actually a couple that I really stand out as new cards that are Commander cards. Uh, really awesome for Commander. Uh, but just they, they threw them in this product for whatever reason. Uh, anyways, really been enjoying it. Uh, we have opened up, you know, a, a slew of packs at this point. Uh, we're going to try to, uh, one way or another, collect all of the theme cards. Uh, we want to get all of those. That's just kind of a little thing that we're trying to do, whether we actually get all of the boosters themselves. Uh, that's a whole nother thing, but uh, we are going to try to get all of them. I think we've got, got maybe uh, 20 of them so far or something like that out of the 40... Cause I think there's 46. There might be there might be a couple more. Uh, but 46-ish. Uh, uh, anyways, we're going to try to get uh, all of them if we can. We might uh, build a little... Fr we might get them framed and do something fun with that uh, for art for the, for the studio. Uh, anyways, uh, just really refreshing to play so if you if you haven't had a chance to get your hands on these things yet um, they're really hard to get a, your hands on uh, they, they really came out with a limited release uh, the stuff that did come out the print quality is just it's horrendous uh, some of the lands are, are like two colored like they're, they're completely like they ran out of ink and they just printed it anyway uh, we have a few of those uh, in our packs uh, and uh, yes yeah, so they're seeing a number of, of issues that way um, that said, uh, for that, um, and the fact that they're, you know, it would have been better if they just waited three weeks or something or a month and just sent them all out when they actually had stock on them so that the stores actually got them and they had an even run. Um, and they didn't create sort of a false sense of maybe value or... I don't necessarily have... Of course, that 20, uh, the uh, commander decks, I didn't really have a problem... I didn't have as big of a problem with them having an issue with getting the supply rate on those. Um, they are, you know, for commander players, and they're meant to be played and all that. But this is one that I, it just really feels like a, uh, almost a gift in how it's been done to the to, to Magic players, and uh, and the, the price point was was really good for what it is. With so much expensive coming out, uh, it was nice to have something that's kind of more affordable people could do. And it just would have been nice if they had a nice clean release. Now, I mean, everyone gets that, you know, there's this stuff going on in the world that's kind of messing up print runs, but it really doesn't excuse it to me. I mean, there is so much product coming out, it is not, it would not kill anybody to push the product back by a month, month and a half. There's so much coming out, it's not a big deal. Not like what, we're not going to have a product coming out? There's so much. So, uh, anyway, it's just a little disappointed they pushed it out that way. Um, that said, we are enjoying it, uh, finding it to be really interesting. Uh, some of the the rares are, are really good, and some of the uncommons uh, really just love. Actually, in particular, though, the couple of the theme lands that came out, uh, really cool, going to be really collectible, uh, and I'm sure valuable over time. Uh, just because you know they come one out of every whatever 20 packs or 40 packs uh, that you get those lands. So 
Um, I think that they're going to be some of those uh, theme lands are going to have good values to them. Now they're making more kind of valuable lands, so they make it. Some of this stuff might get a little bit lost in the crush, but um, anyways, really, really uh, happy they, they did that uh, and, and have put the extra little bit of value into the, the set. So uh, we will be ourselves posting a number of games that we're playing. Uh, our setup's not perfect, but uh, we're going to do our best. Uh, we'd like, actually, I'd really love reaction from you guys at home, whether you, you know, you think it's something of value. I guess we'll find out if I mean, 10 people are watching it, and I guess that tells us it sucks. Uh, and if 100 people are watching it, or 500 people are watching it, then I guess it tells us it's, it's at least okay. Uh, anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna post a bit of those. Um, anyways, it's kind of been a real refresher for me in, in the product, um, and how I feel about it. Um, this has really brought me back to when I started and just kind of, you know, just opening up those uh, maybe a uh, pre-constructed, uh, uh, that wasn't Planeswalker back in the deck, maybe like a pre-constructed deck from uh, the 7th edition or 6th edition when they had them back then, Invasion, and just playing those, and they were pretty fun, you know, they weren't crazy powerful like some of my decks are now, I mean, you know, we have whatever, I think we are talking about today uh, with some of the people, uh, we were saying, you know, I probably have... I don't know what I have, 50,000, 50, 100,000 cards? I don't know what I have. There's a bunch, anyway. Um, from, you know, I have cards from, I don't know, 100 sets or something. Uh, a decent amount from probably at least, I don't know, say 50 of them. Uh, and, uh, anyways, there's, there's lots to choose from when you're making a deck. So you can make crazy powerful decks, your themes work perfectly. Uh, you might have 20 rares in a deck or mythics. Uh, and then, you know, your filler, kind of, your draw cards and stuff, sometimes they're uncommons, and, but, you know, they're super powerful cards. Well, these ones, you know, they're not super powerful, but they're they're fun to play, and they, they play well. Uh, and it just kind of brings me back to that, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, a deck doesn't have to be all the best cards just to be fun to play. You know, they're fun to play, because they're fairly well balanced. You can play them against each other uh, and still enjoy it. So, I, anyways, I've just been enjoying the product, and I hope I hope you guys are too. Um, and when you get your hands on it, I hope, you know, hopefully the prices will go down because, you know, the boxes I got were, were kind of stupid. Um, I was a little disappointed I had to pay that. I thought I had some pre-ordered, but I guess not. Uh, so I didn't get them, so I had to I sort of chase some down. Uh, and we've been enjoying them. I, I'm glad I did at least get them. Uh, you know, there's been, a, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, tomorrow, uh, so I'm going to move on from that anyways. Uh, tomorrow there are going to be some more spoilers for uh, Double Masters excited for it. I'm sure that the uh, the Double Masters uh, is going to be strong. I think it's going to be a great product. Uh, th there's no way they're going to not make it a great product. There's going to be, you know, there's been rumors of reprints, uh, everything from uh, uh, some of the some of the tutors to uh, expensive tutors to uh, Force of Wills to uh, Mox Diamond to uh, Mox, uh, not Mox Diamond, I think Mox Opal. Mox Opal they were talking about uh, anyways, a number of big, big, big cards that are, you know, $100 plus, uh, they're talking about putting in this set. And I'd be surprised if they didn't, to be honest, in, in, uh, you know, to get a Mox, even a Mox Opal in a, uh, fancy art, uh, full art would be, uh, might be really nice. Uh, same as, you know, Force of Will, getting an alternate art Force of Will will be incredible. Uh, I'm sure it'll be so highly sought after. I personally think, uh, you know, I've heard the rumors, I personally thought they were gonna do Force of Will in the fall. Uh, and so I'd be a little surprised if it's in Double Masters, but I guess we'll see. We'll see over the next couple of days because some of that stuff's going to come out. Uh, we will have some openings on the channel. Uh, we will be doing, uh, in the next couple of days, I'll be kind of unveiling our next sort of uh, subscriber push and we will be giving away some packs of uh, Double Masters. So, uh, you know, uh, stay on it. Anyone who is a subscriber already will be in the draws. Uh, so I hope you guys win. Uh, yeah, I mean, patrons actually get a couple extra chances to win. So. We'll do something for them as well. Well, they'll definitely uh, want to do that. So, if you are a patron, we're, we're I actually I haven't planned anything specifically yet, um, but I will do a, a specific draw just for patrons on on Double Masters because uh, you guys deserve it because you're, you're honestly great supporters. So, um, products that uh, you know came out what recently, a couple weeks ago, of course at 2021. Um, nice product, balanced product. Um, I just kind of want to review some of the more recent products. Really balanced product, like really probably the best core set that's come out in, you know, in ages. Uh, I think since 7th edition, I actually really like 7th edition, some of the unique parts about 7th edition and, you know, those foils from 7th edition are crazy in value. Uh, I think this is probably the best one since 7th edition. 
uh, I'm, you know, you know, you can argue in the comments below. We can have a chat about it. But uh, it really seems like there's some good cards in it that are really collectible and, and are going to be really playable. So, uh, of course, at 2020 had its uh, good parts about it as well. Uh, but I think this one really just stands out, maybe just a, a tick above. Uh, so uh, really, really nice. I think they've done a good job of it. Actually, no, uh, there were some printing issues with this. I know I had some ink blots on a few cards, uh, and I'm sure that I can't be the only one. Uh, but um, overall, pretty good job. I'm assuming they they kind of did a lot of the printing on this, kind of pre us all staying at home. Uh, anyways, uh, Ikoria. It's funny. It's gonna be interesting to see how these things these things age. You know, Ikoria, a uh, nice product. Um, so the one thing I'll say about Corset 2021, um, I thought the regular boxes and the collector boxes were a good experience. Uh, the, the, the regular boxes were were good. I wouldn't say they were an exceptional collect, uh, re a regular box, but they were good. You know, they they were good to to open. They were fun to open. Ikoria, the collector boxes, and I'll say it, and I've probably said it a hundred times already. The collector boxes are incredible. Uh, getting the unique art. And all the rares and and all the bling that's in them, uh, it's just an amazing experience. Uh, probably, as an experience of opening one particular product, probably the best product I've ever opened. Really exciting to open those collector boxes. Uh, I only think have like one right now, uh, just kind of squirreled away. But I, I honestly, I feel like I should have ten because they're so good. I, I can't imagine they're not going to be like six hundred dollars later on. But we'll see, I guess. Uh, and uh, so uh, before that. Uh, they brought out Mystery Boosters, and, and Mystery Boosters, as a product, to me, they were a gift to a Magic player. You know, as much as there's like, it feels like there's a lot of greed in some of the other project uh, products that have come out, I mean, what a gift to the Magic player for the cost that they, they were when they came out, especially. Uh, and, uh, I mean, it's a shame they kind of weren't able to reprint them and whatnot's going on. Um, but, man, what a phenomenal product uh, for, for what we were paying for them. I mean, what a gift to Magic players. Uh, and I really just, you know, Wizards, we don't give them enough credit when they do good things. And this was a fantastic product. Uh, really nice, enjoyable to open. What a drafting experience. Um, I, I, you know, I, I could say this is probably a top five. I, I honestly believe this is a top five product that's ever been brought out. Like it was that good for the money that you had to pay for it, uh, for value, for the cards that are in it. I honestly think this is one of the top five products that's ever actually been printed. You know, maybe, uh, I don't know what, I don't, I can't even picture off the top of my head what I think is a better value and what was a better product. So, a uh, really fun product. Uh, so I just, you know, I just wanted to point that out. You know, if you're looking at things to maybe get a couple boxes just to sit on for a while, it's a great product, man. Like, I mean, you know, your, your average box value is something like $200. I mean, you can still get them for, you know, 220 something like that. And there's a good chance some of the cards are going to go up in price. I mean, they'll probably re they're reprinting Mana Crypt again, so it's going to go down. Odds are, on Mana Crypt, at some point, it's got to get a little softer, right? So Mana Crypt probably going to get down to maybe 120 or 110 or something like that. But um, still, I mean, there's so much value in these. Uh, I know they reprinted Salvala. There's a few cards that they've reprinted again since. Uh, but yeah, I mean, amazing product. So uh, anyways, couldn't recommend it more. Uh, before that, of course, we had Theros. Uh, Theros... Uh, you know, I actually really like Theros. I, I think it's a good product. Uh, a lot of the big decks have cards from Theros that are, you know, carrying those decks. So, uh, I think this was a pretty good set as well. It was pretty solid. This was just, to me, it was just a solid Magic Gathering set with interesting cards. Some unique cards, unique mechanics. Mechanics that were not super hard to play, um, but were interesting. Uh, you know, some of the gods are good. I, I think there's a lot of good cards in this. You know, is this going to be, um, you know, five years from now, is this going to be a, a set that's $500? Probably not, but I would be surprised if it was, you know, some of those old sets when I go through the set values, uh, you'll see them at like $150. I can't imagine this set's going to be that. I, I see this as a, you know, a $250 set, which is good. It's actually one of the better ones if you go a few years along and go back. I think it's a really solid set. And I'm just going to go back to Throne of Aldrain as the last one. Uh, Throne of Aldrain... Uh, again, I think this is going to age really well. It's starting to get a little way, ways away from when people were actually opening it a lot. And I think people are going to really start to miss it and, and really want to open those packs again. I think it's going to age incredibly well. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I think, I'm not sure if they're, gonna, if they're reprinting it anymore, or if they're done the printing at this point. Uh, but, I mean, amazing product. So, um, we're really lucky to be in a time where the products are really good. 
you know, we're not going through those times where you're getting the gate crashes, which are kind of just okay, or the hours of devastation, which are just okay. Uh, some real dud product, the dragon mazes, which again, were just like, they were okay for the time, but they weren't amazing. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, some of those, you know, even I can follow Empires way back in the time, I and mean, that was just hot trash. It's still trash. And how do you make a card that 25 years later that there's like nothing in it that's worth anything and the cards look like crap. So, anyways, I uh, just wanted to have a chat with you guys. Looking forward to Double Masters. That's going to be the big thing. Uh, we will have a lot more uh, Jumpstart uh, openings. We're going to probably spread them out. We'll probably have uh, five or six of them anyways. Maybe eight, ten, something like that. Depending on how many, if we get any more, our hands on any more. So, uh, everyone have a magical day and take care.